Hello, and welcome to STAT 330. I want to take a few minutes to talk about the difference between a population and a sample, and to discuss some notation that we'll, we will use extensively throughout this course. First, let's start with the definitions. A population is the complete collection of all individuals of interest. Note the key word here is complete. A population is everything of interest. Another important note is that this definition uses the word individuals, though an individual is not limited to just a human being. For example, an individual may be a tree if we were interested in measuring tree heights in a particular forest. Next, what is a sample? A sample is a subset from the population. It is part of the population. Hopefully, it is a randomly selected part. Let me draw an example. Here, this is the population. And the sample comes directly from within the population. The notation for the data in the population is x1, x2, x capital N. The notation for the data in the sample is x1, x2, all the way through to cap x lowercase n. Notice that there are capital N data points in the population and only little n data points in the sample. Therefore, capital N must be more than lowercase n. Also, it is really important that we notice that the sample comes directly from the population. So if we are interested in the voter ages in the United States, we would not sample a voter living in Germany. Let's move on to another example. Say we are inter interested in GDPs or gross domestic products. What would be the population? The population would be x1, x2, all the way through x196, where xi is the GDP of the eighth country. Why did I say that we have 196 data points in the population? This is because right now, in January 2017, we have 196 countries in the world, and each country has exactly one GDP. What would be the sample? Say we obtained the GDP from a random sample of 50 countries. Maybe I just wanted to report a statistic for the GDP in 2017, and obtaining all GDPs from all countries would be too time consuming. So instead of collecting all data from the population, I decided to just collect the GDP from 50 countries. The sample would be X1, X2, all the way through X50, where XI is the GDP of the eighth sampled country. GDP. Okay. One last example. Say I want to understand the pH levels for a plot of land. pH levels help to determine which crops will grow well. What is the population? The population would be x1, x2, all the way through x capital N, where xi is the pH level of the ith piece of soil. Here, 
Capital N is really theoretical. There is no way we could actually count how many pieces of soil are in this plot. Rather, we would need to conduct a survey of the land and randomly sample several plots by digging holes and testing small soil samples. So, what is the sample? The sample would be x1, x2 through x lowercase n, where xi is the pH level of the ith soil sample. And the lowercase n is the number of soil samples that were obtained from the plot of land.